Hey everyone, this is Sandy Reese with StampinCrew.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Welcome back to another video tutorial. Thanks so much for joining me today. Uh, we are focusing on the framed and festive stamp set this week. It's not in the catalog. It's uh, in our online one of our online offerings. The item number is 160888. I love this. We've already done a sampler. We've done some cards. And today we are going to do some Christmas tags using this. So let's get started. So we have lots of ways to do tags. Whether you have um, dies, punches, or uh, none of the above, I will show you different ways to do them all. All right, first I'm going to do a large tag with the tailor-made tags dies. So I've cut out a basic white die tag, <laughs> and I've cut out the same size in our Bows of Holly designer paper. And you could use either side. I love the poinsettia, so I'm going to use that. And um, we are going to stamp with some real red ink. And I'll tell you, tags do not have to be um, fancy. They can be quick and simple, and you can make them fancy by just blinging it up just a tad. And I'll show you how to do that on each one of these, where it doesn't, um, it doesn't take long, it doesn't take much in supplies, just a little bit of sparkle makes a huge difference. Okay, so we have our tag here. Now I also kind of uh, broke into my tat, my scrap box and pulled out a few of my scraps. This is one of the points that is cut out of this same pack of designer paper, but a different pattern. So I am just going to, I think, pop this up and it can hang down a little bit. Let's grab some little dimensionals. I, only, I think I'm only gonna use two. Let me see, I'm going to put these right here. Okay. I'm going to pop this up right here. And then I found this little, it's from our, our bow punch. It's just using a little bit of the red glimmer paper. And I'm going to glue this under my poinsettia. I'm just gonna put a little combo liquid glue here on the stem. Pop it up and just have that teeny bit of bling. That is all we need. Then I grab, I had a, a string of this in my uh, scrap box. And I'm going to take enough. Now usually when I make my tags, I, I make them uh, flat and then I, I don't tie the ribbon in a knot. I fold it in half and run it through the hole. and then stick my tails through that loop and then just pull it. And then I kind of leave it like this until I'm ready to use it. And then I'll take out the ribbon and then I'll tie it around my handle of my bag. But there you just get a little bit of that pretty, um, the pretty poinsettia paper sticking out behind that. And then that little bling, that's all you need. You don't need any gems or anything if you have a little bit of glimmer paper. And then if you wanna write to and from, you can write it on the back of here with a white gel pen, or you can write it on the back of your tag, either way. So there is one super quick tag. Okay, now I've done a small one. So we have um, lots of sizes. I think there's four, four sizes in both these um, top designs in the tailor-made tags. So I just stamped or, or dry cut a little one and then a little red glimmer. Isn't that cute? I just used a scrap that I'd already punched a bunch of stuff out of. And I'm gonna use real red ink again. And I think I'm just gonna use this Merry Christmas. It's a small one. And if it's right on this tag, hopefully that will be straight straight enough for today <laughs> and we can add this we can use i will probably use a smaller a little smaller ribbon since that's a smaller tag i have some of this this white seam binding 
ribbon. I have other red ribbons too. And I can color this if I want. But I'm just going to put a little red, or put this little ribbon in here. If I can get that in. I just grabbed a few different ribbons for the tags. And usually I just go in my scrap box and use whatever's in there. Okay, we'll tie that on. Now that doesn't have much bl any bling on the front. So for this one, I am just going to put, I'm just gonna put a little red gem right up here in the corner. You can do that there. You could even put it, maybe dot your eye with it. Maybe we'll do that, that's cute. We'll just dot our eye. This will go on a small package. And you don't even need this if you're wrapping it with string or something, just add this to the string. Okay, very quick and easy to do. All right, now you can also do it with your circle dies, your layering circle, if you have the, um, you know, the stitch set that has the banner, it has squares and it has circles, you can use that too. I happen to have my circle dies out, so I just grab those. And I think with this one, I'm going to use, uh, we'll use have yourself, I'm gonna try to use each of the stamps once. So I'm gonna use, have yourself a Merry Little Christmas. We'll do this one. That's not on straight, but it's a circle, so it's okay. And this is red, let's just go ahead and use red while we're at it. So you can have circular, circular um, tags as well. I'm actually gonna pop this up on our red just to give a little extra dimension. And then you can write on the back of the red if you want. Now not all tags have to have holes in them, but if you want to hang them on a package or a bag, I would punch a hole through there. And then we can bling this up a little bit. Let's see what we have. Um, that's a white heart, that's too white on white. I don't wanna do that. I have another poinsettia, but I think it's gonna be a little too big for our tag. Oh, you know what though? Hmm, a little too big. What else do we have? We have a couple more of these little boughs of the little berry, um, punch berries. Let's see what that looks like. Maybe we can take a couple little ones. Or not, you know, this is where it's just kind of fun to play with what you have and see see what you can add on here. I think what I'm going to do is just grab, um, oh, I almost had an idea, hold on a second. If you have, let's see. This is what I'm thinking. I've got some of these gold, what are these? These are in the annual catalog, the gold leaf trinkets. I haven't used them very much, but I could add one of these right there where I'm going to put the tag. Let's go ahead and punch a hole right at the top. Okay. Uh, oh, I know. You need some of, let me just bring my big old scrap box over here. And I saw a piece of gold trim while I was looking. And I will tie this in a bow. Let's just do this. We'll prep it for prep it for a tag. So I'm just threading it through the little eye. It's like a little, it's a little trinket, it's like a charm. It's a little charm. And then I can tie it onto my onto my package, isn't that cute? You could even use a glue dot to kind of hold it in place over here if you don't want it to fall in front of your words. Just put a glue dot there. 
Then if you wanted, then you could add maybe one or two of these little festive pearls. Maybe one over there. Isn't that cute? Very simple. I just like to play. I like to play with stuff and uh, just put it together. I love using my scraps. Whenever you're die cutting or punching, always punch a couple extra and put them in your scrap box. Okay, so we've used three stamps so far. All right, let's do a blue one. So I've just cut um, a piece of two by four and a quarter. You can get eight tags out of a piece of paper using this. And um, we're gonna grab this very best trio punch. And this is for making tags and decorative corners. So it has a slot for the ribbon. It has a fun decorative corner here. It's got a tag corner here. So let's use our tag corner. Nope, let's use our decorative corner. Let's try that. So you want to make sure you get it right in the corner. Isn't that cute? I want to make sure that it punches the same. So round it on the top. That will be opposite. So I think I have to flip it over. Let's try this. Let's flip it over. I'm probably wrong. Nope, I was right. You put it in, flip it upside down, and do the other side, and that will make it even on both sides. I'm impressed my, with myself today. <laughs> I figured that out before I, before I punched it because I was just going to switch it. But because of the pattern, you have to flip it and do it on the back side and then you get it even. Okay, so let's do on this one. Um, let's try this one. Tis the season to be jolly. And we're going to use some Pacific Point. All right, open up. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna put this up fairly high. Cute, I love that color, Pacific Point. Okay, I've got a little piece of this paper. I don't want it to cover, and it's a little bigger, but that's okay. So what we're gonna do is grab our seal adhesive. some there and we will line it up with the left edge and then flip it over and then just cut off the extra. It doesn't have to be crazy. All right now all we need is a teeny bit of bling on here. I'm going to take I have a little strip of all right of the white glimmer paper, which is out of stock, but it's it's gonna come back. We have an order coming in. Just a little bit of glimmer paper is all you need. So you can take it white and leave it like that, um, or you can take this. I'm gonna grab my Pacific Point marker. We could actually co color our glimmer paper. Do it gently with your marker. Use the side, not the tip. Give it a second to dry. I'm not sure this is long enough that you can at least see how it's going to look. And the more you go over it, the darker it's going to get. Make sure that's dry. But then you could put that over there too. Now you have blue glimmer paper. Isn't that cute? All right, I already put my white one down, so I'm gonna leave that for now. Okay, now if you wanted to, you could add some gems. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna do these kind of bluish ones because I've got different shades of blue in here. I'm gonna do one for my J. And that's it, that's all I'm gonna do. Very cute and quick. Uh, this has a slot punch right in the middle, but I don't always get it lined up, so let me give you a trick. 
grab a pencil. Grab a pencil where you want that slot to be. I'm gonna do my center right there. And then I'm going to put it in upside down. Let's see how this works. I'm gonna make sure my slot is right here in the center of my punch area. If you can see that, can you see? Right there. All right, hopefully I can grab it. I don't know if this will be straight, but we're gonna give it a try. Kind of, it doesn't take much pressure. I almost got it, <laughs> I almost got it centered. Okay, let's grab a little bit of our white ribbon. And you know what, since we did the white glimmer, and we have our marker out already, let's do a blue ribbon. I love this white ribbon because it's so easy to color. It soaks through, so you really only have to color one side of it. I'm gonna give it a minute to dry though before I put it onto my white tag, just so we don't have any smearing. All right, we'll give that a second and then we'll put it in. All right. Let's clear out of space. Okay, next, whoops, let's do, I've got another piece of white, the same size as this one. And we're going to do the corner, the corner punch. Now this one just cuts, makes it like a tag. And this one has kind of a deep punch. But I'm going to do that all right and then I'm I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to get that even I don't know I'm gonna draw a line I'm afraid okay I'm afraid to, to just wing it is what I'm afraid of okay there we go that's a little bit better all right now Let's stamp this one. Oh, hold on. I have got, I pulled out a, a little bit from the Sweet Candy Cane um, Sweet. The Sweet Sweet. We're going to put just a little bit of the paper down at the bottom. This one's, this is real red. This is Poppy Parade. So I'm using the Poppy color. I think I stamped, actually had that in Poppy too. And this was just a couple pieces from the scrap drawer, or the scrap box. All right. We're gonna pop the, that adorable candy cane. One, two, three. That's all we need. You don't have to put 10. I know some of you like to. All right. Now we are going to use, now you could do heat embossing and stuff too, but the goal today for me is to show you how to do quick, cute tags um, without a lot of time. All right, now I've got a little piece of red glimmer paper, which I feel like I have to put there, only because we need the bling. Gotta have a little bit of bling. It's okay if it's poppy cardstock, you can put, you can put the red glimmer. It's okay makes it pop even more. Just all you need is a little bit. Did you know that out of a 12 by 12 uh, sheet of glimmer paper, tell me how many of these little two by quarter inch strips you can get out of one. Don't do math, just give me a guess. I'll tell you in a minute how many, because I did math. So no math, just a guess. Um, I'm going to use the Not Merry Christmas. I'm gonna use from all of us. This would be for a group gift. Here, I got a scrap of white. Let's do Poppy Parade. Do we have our guesses in yet? All right, I'm gonna tell you. If you haven't typed it in, you can get 288 strips to put on card, to put on tags 
from one piece of 12 by 12. 288, that's a lot. All you need is a little bit of bling for a tag. All right, now I've cut out from all of us. I'm gonna cut out the all the words separate from all of us. Okay, I'm gonna grab my mini dimensionals. Hopefully this will fit on the back of each. We're gonna just pop this up like here. Is that the word all? Nope, that's of. All of us. Can't pick it up. Cute. Look, sweet. We don't even have to do anything else. Now, if you want, you could add some gems, but I already have some bling. That's all that matters. All right, I have some more of this red ribbon, which I think looks perfectly fine with the poppy. Oh, I'm losing things off my desk. Let's just pop this in here. We'll do this for now, and then it's ready to tie onto a get. Now be careful, don't pull too hard because you don't want to rip that the top of that tag. It is paper, it's not plastic. Okay, let's clear that away. Let's see if this is dry enough. Nope, not quite dry enough. <laughs> Give that another minute. All right, if you have ink on your hands, you can use a little bit of hand sanitizer. Just kind of rub it around. Then it won't take it all off, but it'll take off the bits that um, you don't want to smear onto your, onto your project. Okay, let's do another one. So let's say you don't have a punch, okay? This is, I think, two and a half by what? Two and a half by four. It was just a scrap piece of um, soft succulent. I grabbed a piece of this. This is from the Bows of Holly has that pretty tree pattern. So we're gonna do a little masculine card. I had a, I had a couple little pine cones in my scrap box. And I think we'll use the Noel stamp here. And then I have a little strip of, uh, what's that color? Evening Evergreen. So let's just use that. You could stamp white and, um, and heat emboss it if you wanted. I'm going to just stick this on here, just so I know right where it needs, where I need to stamp. I'm living dangerously, that's true, but it's a tag, it's okay. All right, let's just do Noel. All right, I have a little piece of green here of the evening evergreen. We'll just do that to give it a little a little break. Okay. All right, so if you you can make a tag that does not have a corner, okay? It can just be a rectangle. If you want it to have a corner, you just cut it like this, whatever angle you want to cut it at. All right, cut it. I hold that and then I flip it right over and I put it up in this other corner. Line it up with the edges and hold it. And then use it as a guide to cut your other corner. And then you will come out with the same angle, same size cut on both sides. You can make a super easy tag like that. Then you can use whatever hole punch you have to punch a hole in the top. You can use it with a clip if you wanna clip it on something, whatever you wanna do. Super easy, okay? This one's more of a masculine card. So I'm going to take a couple of these cute little um, pine cones and let's pop these up. We'll pop them both up. All right. Put 
put this one here and I put this one right there. And I want to put, I was gonna use this to make um, a bow, but I think it's a little bigger than I want. So I might use this for my, my ribbon to hang it on with. And here's, if you want to just stick it on a tag, you do not even have to tie it onto anything. You can just tie a little bow Use some double-sided tape or dimensionals and pop it right on your tag or on your gift. All right, let's pull that in. I probably would have used a little bigger, but it's the scrap box, so we're going to make do with the tag with the with the supplies we have. Okay. All right, so we've got a little gold ribbon. Let's look in our scrap box and see if I have any. What I really want is a gold bow, if I have one. I really thought I saw one in here earlier. But maybe not. So, oh, you know, wait, I saw something here. Let's take maybe that. Got a couple pieces of, of linen thread. I also have a little piece of that. Okay. I think we're going to go with the linen thread. Let's use a couple pieces of this linen thread and just tie a little bow right here. And I think because this bow's looking a little funky, one bow is enough. So we might take that and just make it ribbon instead of a bow. Okay, let's trim off that end. And we will use a little glue dot. To put this bow onto our, onto the pine cones. Right there. Oh my gosh, what a cute little masculine tag. All right, now this not so masculine <laughs> with the glitter. So you could use um, faux suede trim. You could use a little, you know what? I'm gonna use a little more linen thread. Let's take the gold off. And you know, a lot of times when you're making tags, you wanna match your, I'm looking, cause I know I have more linen thread in here. Um, you want to match your bag, your your gift wrap, whatever you're using. So that would kind of, a lot of times that can dictate the type of the colors you use or the maybe the designer paper or the type of ribbon. Um, if you have a real pretty elegant, whoops, gold wrap or a bag with gold, you might want to use some gold on your tag. If it's white, we could go any way you want, just like that. Okay, now let's do one more. Actually, I have two more. Okay, so this is a piece, it's a stitched rectangle piece of white cardstock that I just found in my um, scrap box that was left over. So I'm just gonna make a tag out of this. I've got a couple pieces of this polka dot. Well, I've got the set of paper. This is my favorite, so so that's why I want to use it. Then I have um, a couple pieces of gold foil scrap left over, and then I found this gold glitter snowflake, which is gorgeous. It is uh, sold out, I am afraid, the glitter paper, but if you have some, this is a good time to use it. And I'm going to use some real red. Hold on. I'm gonna glue this on so I can see where my center is. All right, I'm gonna put these on either side. I'm covering up some of that stitching on the side, that's okay. All right, let's do this side. And then I'm going to put the gold, glim, the gold foil 
right on the inside of each of these. Trim off that extra. Beautiful. Okay, from our home to yours. All right, this was supposed to fit in here. <laughs> All right, I'm going to just go for it. Have I used this already? From our home to yours, not yet. Okay. It just barely fits. Close enough. We're just gonna call we're gonna call that good. Or or I probably should have used that one. Fa la 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 la, but that's okay. From our home to yours, pretend that's going up. It's okay, it's a tag. Maybe you give the ones you mess up on to people, you know, that it doesn't matter because they don't they don't really care anyway, right? We just we like to spend our time on our best people. Okay, so I'm just popping up this little snowflake right there. Super cute. Let's uh, punch a hole. Punch a hole on this end. And we've got this little bit of gold trim. This is in the annual catalog. Simply elegant trim. Gold and silver. I hope they, they don't get rid of this because I love it. All right. Super cute. Maybe not straight or centered correctly, but that's all right. In the future, I probably would have stamped this before I put the gold pieces on because those can move a little bit. But you live and learn, right? Okay, let's do one more. Let's do, all right, so I have this punch that I hardly ever use. It's called the decorative circle punch. It's, it's just kind of a wavy circle. And you can punch a piece out of whatever you have. Um, we could do, let's see. I might do one of these. We might do it out of here. This is the Santa Express. And I'm going to punch, I punched a white circle because I can layer this right on here if I look at it right. If I line it up correctly, hold on, I gotta find it. All right, so I like this side though. You line it up correctly. <laughs> That's the trick. You could stamp these, probably punch these at the same time. Okay, there we go. Glue this to the white, so this way on the back you can do to and from. I'm going to show you a quick way to do that. Well, it's not super quick, but a way you can do that with the stamp set. And then I think the only one I would use is this fa la 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 la. So let's grab a piece of white scrap paper. Let's do the, I have the evening evergreen out. And we're going to just do a little, a quick little banner. And you could measure this too. Looks like it's maybe seven eighths of an inch. All right, I'm just cutting a little flag at each end. Like that. I'm going to pop that up. La, la 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 let's do a quick glue okay pop this up you could add ribbon behind here whatever you want to do what do I have I have I have these gold those are a little big though um, I do have a cute little, a cute gold glimmer holly leaves, or I have these two bow punches. These don't cover as much of the paper, so let's use this. Let's do one coming up from the top. We'll just add a little bit of bling and one from the bottom. 
just like that. Then we can put our um, ribbon in through the top. All right, let's see how we can use this to do a quick to and from. If you don't want to write it, let me show you. Okay, um, let's clean these stamps off first. Now we do have some stamp sets that have to and from. Uh, this one is the one I want. Okay, you wanna make sure they're real clean. This one has the word two, so let's grab our Evening Evergreen Marker. You don't want to use blends. Oh, I'm going to clean this off too. That's going to make a mess on me. All right. Two right here. So if you have this, but you don't have a two in front, I probably should have done this before. <laughs> before I put all my, my thick stuff on here, before I pop that up. And then we're gonna color the word from. Right there. And then if you want, you can do a little dot dot, a little dot dot. So it's, it has the words to and from in it, not together, but separate. That's okay. Let's go ahead and punch a hole and tie a little bit. What have I got? I have got, I'm looking for some white linen thread is what I'm looking for. Or not white, um, baker's twine is, is what I'm thinking. I have, that's got silver on it though. I don't want to do that. I have some white string. I don't think it's first twine. I think it was left over from something else, but we're gonna, we're gonna say it's Baker's twine. I just pop that in. And tie a little bow for now. Ooh, I'm a messy stamper. I've got a mess all over. That's okay, I like I like making messes. Okay, I think this is dry. Let's go ahead and put this in our tag. Just remember if you're coloring your ribbon, make sure you give it time to dry. Okay, oh, pretty. All right, so all these tags, I think we used all the, um, images from our stamp set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight, two, four, six, eight. We've used them all. All kinds of cute little Christmas tags to kind of match whatever, you know, you can mix and match them. You can make them, just change the colors out to match your, um, your bags or your gift wrap. All right. Thanks everybody, I will post the supplies. I'm not really posting measurements because you know, it's just all kind of random, but I will post supplies on my, on my blog. And I would love for you to place an order with me this month. We have the big sale going on. We have big clearance items. Um, I, will pay, I will put the link below. Please use the December host code. And um, thanks so much everybody. I will see you next week. All right, bye-bye.